Good morning, or well it is Sunday morning, it's quarter to eight, been up since uh, half three. I'm going to show you how to do Eccles cakes, and I'm going to base this on that you go buy the puff pastry instead of make it. You can make it if you want, but just go out and buy it. So I've got my new tripod as well, and I've got a remote with it, but it won't pair. My phone just says it can't pair with it, so that's a waste of time. See, I think it turns it on and off. I'm not sure. Let's have a go. No. Right, I'm going to put the tripod down and you see what I'm doing. Um, I've already rolled my pastry out. The mixture is mixed dried fruit, a little bit, a teaspoon of um, ginger, powdered ginger, a teaspoon of cinnamon. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, some soft brown sugar. And butter. The quantities don't really matter them. Get your hands in, mix it all up so it's all coated. To do Eccles cakes properly you should use just sultanas. But I couldn't get hold of them so I've used a bag of mixed dried fruit. Right, so here we go. Hope you hopefully you can see everything. So this is the paste I've already wrote it. I'm using this to cut out. I got to remember. So the size of that you compare it to a saucer. So we'll do that. I'm going to do four. That's all I need to do then for, for a customer. So your pastry, the thicker you cut it, the more it will puff up. So I'll show you how thick I've got it. So not very thick. There's one, and it's so easy to make, and I think they're much better than the shops. I don't know how much you pay for Eccles cakes. What about one pound forty for four? Um, I think it's probably more expensive to make them, but it's the joy of doing it, and then it's so easy. Three, another one. So I'm not scratching my work top, but you don't need to press, the knife will do the work. So, get rid of this. So easy. I'll use that for some Get some flour, make sure your top's well floured. What we're going to do, we're just going to roll this out a little bit bigger. So it goes a bit thinner. Then, get your egg wash. Your egg wash is... Uh, just an egg and what it does one it colors and two it acts like a glue go around the edge and just get a little bit it can be messy this just get a little bit and put it in the middle don't want too much now you can do two things with this you can do it the easy way put that on there then crimp it round like a UFO that's the easy way the way you, sh you should be doing it, fold it up, then egg wash all around the edge. Lots of it. Yeah, like I said, it is messy. Then what we'll do, get there. I'm making like a little parcel, push that in. If it's too much, it's not gonna. And all you're doing is squeezing it, close all the gaps. Don't matter about it like that, because when it cooks, all this will stick together. There's one. Get some more flour. Like I said, do four. Egg wash. Alright, get some more. I think I've got enough. So the way to measure this out is just... Get a little handful out of the bag, that's one, two and so on. So fold it over, egg wash all around the edge, so it sticks. Easy peasy lemon squeezer. Once you know how, you can see how fast it takes, it's, it's nothing. I can make them quicker. 
while you go out to the shop and buy them. Unless you're going to make your own puff pastry. That'll take you half the day. There you go, a nice little one. They will grow up and expand a little as it puffs out. A bit of a little flower. So, another one. Egg wash. One more. Gather. Better always to do not enough. That way you won't throw any out, especially if you run out of pastry. Like I say, you can buy this, you can buy it fresh or you can buy it frozen. This is what I've made. Prefer to make my own. Um, to do puff pastry, if you know how to do short crust, do, you do your like your apple crumble mix and bring it together, roll it out into a rectangle. I need some more egg wash on that. Roll it out into egg wash, then butter it like you're buttering some bread. Then what you do, you start doing buck turns. So if it's it's a rectangle, so you fold from top to halfway, then bottom halfway, and fold that over. Then roll it out into another rectangle, butter it again. The more layers you get, the more it's going to puff. You want to use the best quality butter you can possibly buy as well. No cheap stuff. Right, one for the last one. I think we'll just bit more flour and that's basically how you do puff pastry and then you stick it in the fridge to firm up a couple of hours and it's ready to go I've got how many layers I don't know because I've already rolled this out I've got about six layers on this I think right and that's it well look at that it's just because I know Not finished quite, there's a couple other things we need to do to these. I've got cheese and onion pasties today, I've got cream cakes to make, oh, a bit too much in there. Uh, what else am I doing today? I've got chicken meals, um, I don't know what else. Lost count, off to work. I got, I said I, I was up about three o'clock. So, if it doesn't stick, like I'm having problems with this, just a little bit of egg wash. If you don't seal it, then as it cooks, it all comes out. So, we've got our little babies here. What we need to do, just flatten them out a little bit. Right, get a sharp knife, make a little hole, a little incision. What we're doing that for, to let the steam out, otherwise it could just pop open. And egg wash, all around the top. They look tiny, but they will, like I said, all puff up. You can do this with short crust pastry. Same taste, just a different texture. So that's them, now, using demerarish if I pronounce it right and the reason you use this it gives it a crunch and it doesn't melt as a high melting point this type of sugar just put a bit on top after this I'll start my pasties I might even show you how to do pasties yet that's it so they go on the baking tray in the oven about I don't know, it varies, 20 minutes at 180, so now I've got to touch my phone because the remote's not working, alright, that, that's basically it really, easy, alright, good luck if you're going to have a go at doing them, bye bye.